Well, this is a second day of sunshine, which is pretty rare for the West Coast, at least where I live. So I decided to do another video. I'm going to show you what I have for my sound system. Um, I have this Kenwood deck, and it's that model number KDC MP345U. Um, so that's what I have for the deck, and then I just use either my iPod or um, my iPhone. Uh, I have uh, just uh, two speakers in the front and two speakers in the back. Now they're all Hertz. Now, um, Hertz is a handmade Italian. They're not the, the highest end, but they are, you know, really good. It was a little bit of a challenge to get all of them in. In fact, on the two front ones, uh, there had to be custom rings made for them. And on the back ones, uh, I've actually got extended screws because uh, the dish on the speakers is really wide and it requires some modification. Um, in, in the front door case, they actually had to dremel out the lip on, on the door because when you take these doors apart, there's a lip and then there's a plastic piece where the stock speakers go. Well, I wanted to use that plastic piece and not have to tear it up as, as much as I had to. But anyways, I took it to a place because I was so pissed off and I just let them do it and paid the, I think it was like $75 after taxes and whatnot. So um, this guy is a mashup artist. His name is Five and a Dime. Uh, I'll use him for just showing the sound because I don't want this video to be taken down and whatnot. Um, So I've also got two 12s um, powered by uh, a thousand watt Kenwood. So I don't know how many watts go to each speaker. I think it's thousand watt peak and I think about 600 for the both. Um, but. So I quite enjoy it. I've used, actually, this system was in um, a previous vehicle that I had. It was a Chevrolet S10, 1991. And I think it was like a week after I bought this car, I was just so tired of the, the stock deck that I just ripped it out. Uh, it was fairly easy to do. In fact, it was so easy, I didn't even do it. I had my brother-in-law do it. So I watched and I grabbed him tools like wire cutters and connectors and whatnot now fuck I didn't realize after I was cut the original um, thing that I could buy a little plug from Walmart and just plug it in and play so I have now hacked it up and well, everything works like it's I wired or not I but my brother-in-law wired it correctly so I don't have to worry about that um, so yeah I'm glad, I'm glad I did that because uh, in every one of my vehicles that I've owned, I've had uh, a sound system in it. In fact, I had my 212s in that vehicle right there. Now it looks like a fucking beater and it is and it's, I called it the Turdmobile. Oh no, Turd Ferguson, that was it. And, um, but it got me from point A to point B, so I'm not really complaining. 
the paint's all like smooth because I uh, I waxed it and it took me five hours to do because the genius that I am I used the instead of putting the solution on the applicator pad it I put it on the the buffer pad to remove all the stuff so genius me I I could put the substance onto my car but I couldn't get it off so I had to definitely use some elbow grease and and remove it so I missed I missed a couple of spots there I'll have to to go in. So, just hopefully it doesn't rain because I'd like to be able to appreciate this for a little while longer. But look how shiny that is. As in my other videos, if you have any questions at all, I try to get back as soon as possible. Because uh, I spend a lot of time on YouTube because there's lots of fascinating stuff on there. So, um, yeah, that's my sound system.